the first speaker, who is Luis Francisco Lorenzo Martin. And the thesis is uh, uh, squamous cell cancer, finding a new therapeutic target. One of the most common human cancers is a squamous cell carcinoma. This year, over two million people will be diagnosed with this disease, and thousands of them are going to die from it. This clearly shows that we need new targets to fight this disease, and that's what my PhD thesis is about. I have analyzed public data from hundreds of patients with this disease and have asked one question. Is there anything common to all of them? Surprisingly, as you can see on the left side of the slide, there is, regardless of gender, age, or skin color, there is a set of genes that is always overexpressed in these tumors, therefore suggesting that they are very important for the disease. Among these genes, I've focused my work on one called BAF2, because I believe it is a potential therapeutic target. Why do I believe so? Because I've been able to validate such potential in the lab using genetically engineered mice that have allowed me to turn on and off this gene and see what happens. If you now focus on the middle of the slide, you will see that the mice that have this gene always on develop more malignant tumors than those who do not, therefore proving that this gene can actually drive cancer, as we suspected. But the truly amazing thing about this work is that those mice that has, have this gene turned off do not develop tumors anymore. They are protected from cancer. And if we humans can take advantage of this, the clinical impact can be very important. Actually, if we take a look at human data on the right side of the slide, we can see that those patients with this cancer that have low levels of activity of VAV2 survive more time than those with high levels of activity. Therefore, it is worth at least trying to block this gene in human cells. And that's what I've been doing in the lab. I have found that some molecules are able to block this gene and the negative effects that it has on human tissue models, therefore proving that therapeutical approaches are feasible and overall showing that squamous cell carcinoma may have a weak spot that we can use to hopefully help people overcome this disease. Thank you.